And we welcome you back here in Houghton at Sherman Field. Grand Valley able to get the uh, the victory tonight, 51-43. The uh, final score, Lakers 5-0 and with Rob Rubick. As we uh, check things out, Rubick's view here of this game, a game recap now. Grand Valley at 5-0, and you look back, especially at some of the numbers, and say, wow, it was close. Look at how Tech came back, which they did, but the Lakers had taken full command of this game, really, from uh, the halftime on. Yeah, they had a 44-7 to lead, let's not forget, and... I think the Lakers were getting beat up a little bit. They lose three men in their secondary. Uh, so now all of a sudden you got some substitutes in the game. You're trying to call the dogs off a little bit, trying to stay healthy for next week. And Michigan Tech kept, kept fighting. And offensively, all of a sudden, Tyler Scarlett got on fire, along with Curtin as a receiver. And then they started making plays. They're going zip, zip, zip down the field against your depleted secondary. And before you know it, they're crawling back in the game. The crowd gets in the game. A fumble on a, on a kick return, and they get a short field. They convert on that. A couple two-point conversions. Before you know it, you're like, you're looking at the clock. You're yeah, using your timeouts, and you're fighting for your life. But that's why this is a great game. You can't ever, ever think you have a victory until the final horn. That's right. What a big play. The one there, the completion to Jamie Potts on the long pass that uh, Isaiah Grimes found him. One of the biggest, really, of the ball game. How about Eric Kaler, the offensive coordinator, making yeah. that call? You talk about gutsy. <laughs> You know, Maverick, that's guts there. He just, he took a shot with a, a tight end and just started playing for him this year. He goes down the field. It's a big throw, a big catch. But teams that win and teams that win championships make those type of plays. And it was great to see that Grand Valley offense. We expect that from that offense. This is a very skilled offense. The defense, which played so yeah. well, I still think they only limited Tech to about 30 total rushing yards on 22 carries for the entire game. But they got carved up a little bit by Taylor Scarlett in the passing game, especially in the fourth quarter. That's right, but overall, what a great job within a that half. Yeah, the five and zero. Oh. I mean, is it the prettiest five and zero? Oh? No, it <laughs> win by forty points. No, but they are five and zero. Oh, they are five and zero. Oh. People are going to look at this and they understand. You know, coaches understand. They watch how Grand Valley played when they're looking at this film for the first three quarters, and they know that this Grand Valley team, if they get healthy. Is going to be a very difficult team to play in the Gleak. Well, yeah, Grand Valley at 5-0. and all. Let's look ahead to next week, too, a little bit, in that they're going to have a, a big game at home with Ferris State, an arch rival. Is that for the bone? What's that called? Yeah, the, the anchor bone the trophy. The anchor bone Come trophy. on, Rubik. Yeah, the anchor bone trophy. Well, it, it is a big game, and Ferris is going to come in. And it, it, Ferris is a lot like Michigan Tech. You're going to get their best shot, as Grand Valley pretty much does from everyone week in, week out when they come into Allendale. It's a great facility. The crowd will be there. It will be 15,000 people. My concern is, who can he get on the field defensively? Can he stay healthy? Can he get enough healthy bodies with experience to slow Ferris down and allow his offense, which is came out of the game pretty good. You know, one of the tackles got uh, nicked. Was it Moran that went out? I think we saw Tyler Moran get hurt. Hopefully that's not too, too serious. But Isaiah Grimes and Charles Johnson have proved that they can make the big play. They can change the field quickly going vertical on teams, and that's something teams have to prepare for. They can't cheat their safeties up in the run game. They have to keep the safety back to help over the top with Charles, and that opens this up. And that's why we saw Kirk Spencer go over 100 yards tonight. Well, that's your game recap here from Michigan Tech. Is Grand Valley able to get the victory? 51-43, now 5-0, and plus that look ahead to next week. Quick mention of uh, the game against Ferris State. All part of Rubik's view here. As we say goodbye to Rob, uh, you're going to head south. Yep. Uh, heading to Ford Field, check out Ford Lions Report. I make a plug for him. That's kind of a cheap <laughs> shot, but watch the Ford Lions Report tomorrow morning. In Grand See if Rapids you're awake. There. Yeah. See if you're awake. I'm driving through the night. I have all my night riders with me, so if I look a little glossy-eyed in the morning, I am. All right. <laughs> well, have a safe trip, Rob. All right. Thanks. Thank you.